All right. Oh. Man, this flu kicked my ass. Kick my ass. Don't worry, I got my water, got my Ventolin. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, thanks to everyone that put out the well wishes. I really do appreciate that. that was very kind of you. Uh, I got a lot of videos in the works to do. Uh, a lot. You know. Um, so, yeah. I, um... Yeah, I've got, I've got some catching up to do. I do have some catching up to do. Uh, and now my family's getting sick with the whatever this flu is. So it's just it's just rubbish. But anyway, so now we're going to jump straight into the hot seat, right? Because uh, Dynasty posted this out on the June 27th. It was apparently on an official Mortal Kombat channel. This was a fan render, but nobody knew that at the time, right? He says, what do you guys think, right? Now, Total MK got himself in some hot water. We are Australians, after all. He goes, dude, they race swapped to Cater. What the F? He was clearly a white guy. Now, we are going to go through uh, Total MK's actual video explaining this whole thing in a few moments. He says he was clearly a white... Uh, MK, uh, clearly a white guy. What he meant to say is a white Asian guy. And I can show this because he's already addressed it in the tweet. Right now, keep in mind that, like, as per usual, the typical types of people out there, the the actual racists, right? And there is now a pattern of behavior developing against people like me, right? We are starting to see that in the community, that we don't see it happening to anyone else ever, even if they are just as outspoken uh, and uh, hateful, or if whatever you want to call the word, uh, towards the Mortal Kombat franchise, right? But it's very obvious that, you know, that the only tactic that these people actually have <coughs> is to try and smear and create and push and falsify accusations and lies with no actual evidence. I think it's an absolute disgrace for any person out there on social media to use their platform to defame and destroy somebody else without actual evidence. Contrary. So, uh, it says, yeah, I'm sick of the, the pink Sub-Zeros as well, 100%. 100%. Like, it's just ridiculous, right? Uh, and races change for no reason other than to get the DI paycheck courtesy of shit babe Yink, right? First comment was like, Takeda was always Asian, and he goes, but he's African-American now. And this was based on, again, Total MK looking at an official Mortal Kombat channel and seeing this and going, okay. His reaction was based on what he thought was authentic. But don't let a good race grifter get in the way of making sure that they can pull down yet another person to stand on their ashes because, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of these people in the community that are doing anything and everything they can to act like they are the police. They are the right way that we need to do things, and there is obviously a wrong way. Well, YouTube is YouTube. It's in the name. It's you on the tube, doing it your way. And when people start making you feel like, well, you can't do this, or you can't say that, then that's a major problem here, right? We've been seeing that for the longest time. You've been seeing it against me for a while, right? <coughs> now he follows up with now I'm getting cold now he follows up with this he goes people are morons yes he is Asian with white skin because yes we do have like I mean every race right uh, has different uh, different degrees of, of shade if you will right I could go out and start to, like if I was out in the sun every single day I'd be brown as fuck I tan really, really good, okay? But the problem is that when you've got a company like Warner Brothers that now we have proven that is heavily involved with Sweet Baby Inc., right? We have seen the destruction of Mortal Kombat under their rule for a long time now. It is not out of the realm 
to go, well, here we go. There's another one. Here's another one. Look what's happening with Cyrax. And don't worry, I know about Sector as well. So why would it be out of the realm for people to question this? Well, all the weirdos on Twitter, all the race grifters out there and the true racists that actually have seen to this issue with the color of my skin and now the color of Total MK's skin. Because it seems to be the case that we all now have to be policed on our behavior. We all have to be uh, put in our box, you know, stay in our lane. How dare we form an opinion? How dare we criticize? How dare we point this stuff out, right? And if we do, we have to make sure that we check in with the overlords that we're doing it the right way. Now I'm getting, oh man, this is what I hate about flus. Now I'm getting hot again, right? <clears throat> so, now, keep in mind, the people that are reacting to this are the people that literally post this sort of shit. Now, when all of this happened, I went around liking all this stuff. You'll notice sometimes that I do have like these things liked here, right? But I can't unlike this because the degenerate actually deleted it. When you try to unlike it... <laughs> Sorry, that post has been deleted. Gee, I wonder why. Because you're a degenerate? These are the same people that are calling you a racist. That are sitting there getting excited as a man over another man's booty. And then you get, you know, people like this, right? Who, time to follow this racist dumbass that suggests you do the same. This is the problem with these race grifters, these race hustlers, and racists. That openly push these lies and misinformation about people. For no reason. And this is the problem. This is literally the millennial generation in a nutshell. Right? Now, this is over his, on his Twitter page. Obviously, we're going to get into this in a minute. Uh, he says here, there we have it. When I prove my point and prove that people try to paint you with something you're not, when they lose, they block you. This person is probably gloating now. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this was the, tr this was the trans person, right? Who said that trans women are women. I mean, you know. Show me on the penis where the clitoris is. I'll wait. And don't say, oh, but this part of the penis is really sensitive. No, 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 no. 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 So this is... this. <laughs> This is, this is, this is what Total MK and a lot of us have to deal with because we are white and we are Christian and it is always an attack on the truth. It is always an attack on the truth, right? Now, we're going to go through his video because, hang on. I'm gonna need that. Uh, a certain big fan of mine decided to grift and claim. I don't even know where to begin. Anyway, let's go. This guy's clearly never met a Thai person before, but don't worry, Toto MK, I have. This guy's clearly never met a Thai person before, but don't worry, Toto MK, I have. Hi guys, so I'm actually making a point here in this video. Uh, people like Mike Hello make statements like I don't know Thai people. They're incorrect. Um, I'm actually here with a friend of mine who is married to my best friend. Uh, I come over here every fortnight and watch movies. 
Now she's shy, she doesn't want to be on camera, and she doesn't care about this stupid drama, neither do I, particularly. But this is to make a point that people like Mike are wrong, and they make statements online without knowing the facts. And so... This statement right here, now, uh, I encourage everyone to go watch this video, right? Um, <clears throat> the statement right here is 100% true, right? These people don't care about facts. What they care about is destruction. What they care about is making sure that they pull you down because your voice might actually have some weight and meaning to it. it doesn't mean to say we get everything right. It doesn't mean to say that we're perfect. <coughs> we never said we were. But this is the tactic that they play. They prop you up in a box, on a box that you never made. And they say, well, you are being this and you're being that. And I'm like, we're not saying that. And then they go, now I'm going to disprove, or now I'm going to prove that you're a fraud on the things that you weren't there doing or saying to begin with. This is the battle, this is the mindset of the millennial. Right? Not everyone that's a millennial, but this is their mindset. Right? It's manipulation tactics. Right? So, my friend here, she's going to say some things in English and Thai. She's not going to be on camera. Just to prove a point. Uh, hi, I know look for 11 years. I'm from Thai. Um, uh, he asked me to speak Thai. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm uh, from Australia for 17 years. I'm 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 from Australia Listen, I, I speak fluent Thai. I can translate this, right? Because she knew, she knew that I would be watching this video. And what she's saying to Total MK is this. She's saying, hello, Fate, I know you're watching. I'm very sorry that you've been unwell the last few days with this terrible flu. I hope, as one of the greatest Mortal Kombat YouTubers second to Total MK, that you'll make a full and speedy recovery in the grand hope that you will continue to be a beacon of light and hope and truth in the Mortal Kombat community. And I love your bald head. Alright, let's skip we'll skip ahead a little here we go. We'll skip ahead a little bit here. Right, she writes some, she's written some Thai stuff down as well. Right, <clears throat> because this is, this is what happens when <coughs> you have people out there that did no research. This is exactly what's happened with people that have engaged with my channel. Right, and I've only had this fighting game channel uh, primarily focused for about two and a half years, give or take, right? And the problem is that they just don't like you. But instead of being a real man, which I don't think they are, I, I think I actually think these people are trans women, right? Um, they instead need to destroy, but they only cherry pick, and that's the reason why you can always tell there is an actual motive there, right? It's it's not a clean sweep across the board, right? They're not targeting a whole bunch of other people all doing the same thing in the same space. It's always specifically targeted while they ignore the behaviors of everyone else. And that's grave, it's a grave mistake because eventually it's gonna catch up, if it hasn't already. Hi guys, I'm just doing a video in um, reply to Mike Hollowhead, who has put up a video about my recent uh, tweets uh, regarding to cater in Mortal Kombat 1. Now I admit, I got some things wrong with the tweets. Not entirely my fault. Uh, so what happened was a render was put out by Warner Brothers Latino channel. And so official source, I normally only reply to official sources. I've been doing Mortal Kombat for such a long time. And it had a picture of Takeda versus some guy. And I got annoyed because I thought they changed the race of the character. I am a conservative person, okay? I don't care if you like that. I don't care if you hate that, okay? I like things 
to not be changed in the vein of DEI for no reason. I like good storytelling. I like John Tobias' legacy. That's how I am. This is the massive difference. This is the massive difference in the MK community, right? You can, you can really tell that like, there is actually a fundamental mental difference between people that love the 2D games when John Tobias was involved and the ones that didn't have him involved. You can actually see the difference in the way that they think and the way that they feel about the games because you don't have the genius of Don Tobias's universe involved anymore, or his way to keep it on the straight and narrow. You take him out of the equation, <laughs> and then you get the 3D era. I don't like characters being swapped to female, male, gay, or having their races changed. I don't like it. So... And that's perfectly fine too, right? <laughs> and that's perfectly fine, right? Why is it, for example, yeah, we have, we're never gonna get a female Ryu. Don't say, you know, Sakura or whatever. I mean like an actual female Ryu, where they take Ryu, right? And they call her Ryuette, you know, or whatever. And she's got titties and stuff. And she goes, Habuken, you know, like, it's never gonna happen. You wanna know why? Because the Japanese aren't fucking idiots. They understand legacy. They understand of keeping some continuity, or not some, a whole bunch of it, when it comes to their games, right? But NRS, like, fangirls, all these trans women, right? They just can't handle it, right? They, they, they need, this is, this is how you know how weak people are. If you need a video game to make you feel represented in the world, you got bigger problems going on, right? Because it won't just stop there. It'll be something else and something else. And that's why we're in the predicament we are. Because they are demanding that anything and everything be catered to a tiny percentile. Some of them are mentally ill, right? For no other reason other than to placate these people that probably won't even buy the fucking game to begin with. And we see this all across the industry. And we've been seeing it for a very long time. People are getting tired of it. They used a render that was actually made by a fan. So Warner Brothers stole this render and used it. I thought it was official. The render itself is called... This is, the, by the way, this is Warner Brothers, the company that some of these... Some of these people got paid for. Great company, by the way. Yeah, but sh can't say anything about them because, you know, heaven forbid. Called uh, Dark Decatur. And I found this out later. And at the time though, I said they've race swapped to Takeda because he looked a lot more darker. You can see it uh, in the face. Now, nobody's arguing that you can't have dark Asians, for fuck's sake. Right, and it's again it was a fan made render and again we now have seen from the official clip everything's hunky dory right no problem then in the old games in MKX if you go back and this is confirmed now because Ed Boon actually tweeted out to get a gameplay and you could see that he's a lot lighter than that footage and that's how that's yeah see no, nobody cares that he's Asian right nobody cares I mean, you think, you think, so I covered the Raiden thing, right? The first time in history, they race swap Raiden. Like his physical appearance, they race swap. And all the grifters out there and all the race baiters come out and they go, oh, you know, uh, Raiden's always been Japanese or whatever the fuck. It's like, really? We well, don't look that way in every single game that he's come out in because they've had like a thousand foot tall white guy playing the character, <laughs> right? But as soon as they change stuff, and you notice it, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when you become the racist. Because the thing that you got used to, and not just used to, people are forgetting the main ingredient here. 
We paid for these games. We paid for these games for decades that kept these fucking dog shit now developers in business. Right? And then after we notice that they're changing the product, and if you went and changed my fucking wheels on the car from round to square, and I say something about it, <coughs> does that mean I suddenly hate cars now? No. It's because you change something radically for no reason other than to tick a box to get your little tax breaks. Fine. That's exactly how I, I wanted it. But that original render made it look like they'd swapped him to an African-American Takeda. I don't like that. I don't like the characters being changed. There's people around going around at the moment online saying that I'm a racist and this and that because I tweeted out Takeda is a white guy. What I meant by that is I meant to say a white-skinned Asian guy. <laughs> That's all. It was just a snap for one Twitter, you know, and I... But listen, listen, total MK, listen, brother, listen, we're not allowed to make mistakes, right, because we're white. You know, because because we're the devil, the white devil, you know, the dirty crackers. <laughs> we're just, listen, we're just evil by default, right? <clears throat> Everyone else is a poor victim, but, you know, if we make one mistake, right, that's it even attach a screenshot to that to prove that. I just came back from Japan three weeks ago and I was walking around with the Japanese people a lot. Their skin tone is very light, almost white. And you know, people like this, my color head, are saying that me who is from Melbourne, Australia, don't know Asians, don't know Thai people. Mate, for a start, I play Pokemon Go all the time. In our group, we have Japanese people, we have Chinese people. I just came back from uh, from Japan. I've been to Bali before Japan. You know, this is like this. Uh, right. This is this is what I mean, right? Like, you know, obviously, Total MK is a fucking. He's a racist. He's so racist that he spent thousands of dollars constantly over decades to travel to Asian countries. I mean, <laughs> like, but this is the problem. This is the problem. What we have is a bunch of gimps, genetically immature malfunctioning pansies, right? Trans men, trans women if you will. These people are a disgrace to humanity because their only goal is to hate. Their only goal is to make sure that because their lives and their existence is so miserable that they wish to infect everyone else around it. Just like the flu I've got, right? And they fail to ever do any research. They fail to do research on me when they started calling me a rage baiter and a grifter and you know all of this sort of crap. And when I called them out on it, they didn't like that. So they doubled down. Then they had to start pushing other narratives, which then they got called out on. But there's always an out. There's always an excuse for these people. Because the ultimate goal was never about making sure that, you know, oh well, you know, we're all in the same boat here, we're all heading in the same direction. No, the goal is to, you aren't suitable for what we think we need to do, right? There are so many grifters out there, and to even suggest that Total MK is a grifter. <sighs> Jeez, man. I've been to Rarotonga, so I know Islanders as well. I know New Zealand people, people from New Zealand, people from the Tonga Islands, Cook Islands. Mate, I've been everywhere. I've worked for Vietnamese people. I have worked for Vietnamese people. They gave me this hat, which you have seen in the Total MK video outros constantly. For the past six years, they've been here. Go away. I'm not paying for yet. <laughs> uh, you want to say that I'm a racist? You want to imply that I don't like black people or something? 
I've got three pictures up here framed of celebrities. Ernie Hudson, Michael Winslow from Police Academy. And now, now, I've already seen a comment, right? I've already seen the response comment that this will be. And we've seen this before. Oh, that's just like when the white guy says they had black friends. Yeah, I've seen that. Is there anything wrong with saying that? You know why people have to say that? Because you guys are fucking racist, right? Because you are trying to create a, a, a framework here, a false imaginarium of crap that doesn't exist. You force this shit and then people have to actually defend themselves because we know the implications of cancel culture. I think it's an absolute just heresy that people on any platform are allowed to spread and push actual lies about other people with no knowledge, insight or actual investigation whatsoever. And YouTube should take that very seriously. Because not being 100% right in a video game doesn't give you the fucking right to start pushing crap like that. And Michael J. White. I, I don't... It, yeah, just, that's it, man. You're straight up racist. I mean, you know, like, that's some clan shit right there, having black people up in the wall. And of course, you know, they'll probably accuse him of trophy hunting, Nick. That'll be the next thing. Well, he's got him up there as trophies, see? <laughs> right? Like, these people... Listen, it's that old saying. When you're a hammer, everything's a nail. Don't discriminate. If you're in Mortal Kombat, I want to talk to you. You know what I mean? And in that Michael J. White fight, you can even see I'm wearing John Parrish's shirt as Jax. And I've spoken to Jax in real life. At combat. Yeah, I, I, dude, like, I actually have, and he hasn't sent it yet, because if you're going to watch this video, you're in fucking trouble, right? Um, apparently he's got a signed Kung Lao uh, picture from Anthony Marquez for me um, that he's had for years and still hasn't sent to me. But, you know, the racist. Back on. For a long time, too. I, I spoke to him for like a good half hour. He was really cool to me. He was really nice to me. And if you want to say, oh, you know, you're good to do against Asians. Mate, I interviewed Anthony Marquez and Daniel Pazina for half an hour. That's on my channel. Now, all these fuckwits are going around, you know, implying that, you know, I'm some sort of crazy person, you know? Yeah, so I, sure, I came off a little unhinged on Twitter. That's not racism. You guys, you guys don't know racism. I've seen it before and it's fucking ugly. And it's not what people say. It's not words. It's intentions. It's violence. Oh, uh, uh, dude. <laughs> Three, two, one. This will be the line that'll spawn the next video. Right. All, all them, all them, uh, well, you know who we know who we're talking about. We know who we're talking about, right? Right. Racism can apply to anyone of any skin color. By the way, right? If anyone thinks that you can't be racist against white people, you're an idiot. It's, it's hatred. Do you know what I mean? You have not seen that. I have, and it's fucking ugly being in Australia. Melbourne, Australia is one of the most diverse. Um, places that you can live in Australia. We have all types of Asians here. We have um, African Australians here. We have Spanish people here. We have everyone that's here. We let everyone come here. So for you to say that you think I've never met Thai people and Chinese people, Vietnamese people, you're a moron. And the fact that you, in your video, you don't even prefix your video with don't send hatred this person's way and then call me a grifter. You're the grifter. You Yeah, this is so this is what we find with people, right? This is what we find with people, right? They're perfectly okay throwing out slanderous misinformation about folk with no backup whatsoever. Just their opinion, right? And then when they get like feedback then they act all wounded and mean. Hmm. Imagine that. You want people to come after me. 
you don't even prefix your video with don't attack this person blah blah, blah which is some something that every person should say that's your responsibility if you're going to criticize someone over a heavy issue that's what you have to say you don't say it mike hello and you don't say it with fate you send people you send hatred our way and you say oh, oh you said my name you said my name that's like the candy van Say three times. Was it say three times? Is it three times and I'll appear? It's true though. It's true. What was done to me was a hit job. Because now they're doing it to him. Right? It, it, I have no, absolutely no shadow of a doubt that the goal here is to only attack people of certain racial type. And now there is a pattern of behavior here. Right? Say people like this have to be stopped. You incite a hatred mob to come up to people like me and Faye. The reason why the MK team knows me, they know I'm not a fucking racist. They know I love Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he better be real careful starting to push this sort of narrative, right? Because I tell you what, this is this is yet again the absolute idiocy and the immaturity. And the absolute stupidity of these types of people out there that take no accountability for their actions just because they want to look virtuous, right? Total MK was referred to in that particular video about him as being disingenuous, as a parasite, and as a grifter. You really think this man is a parasite? He's been doing Mortal Kombat stuff for a long time. And yet again, the failure of lack of investigation is absolutely bubbling to the surface. People don't like it when they get called out for being a fuck up, right? Now, none of us are perfect here. None of us have, well, at least I never said I was, right? But, uh,. This is, this is the type of generational people that we have to deal with. These people that think that they are the arbiters of the only way that these things can be done. That we can only talk about these things in a certain way. Like they are the fucking, the only, you know, metric of truth and wholesomeness that we need to have moving forward. Right? And if you don't toe the line, just like any good communist, they tear you down. Well, that's not very good now, is it? Right? That is what a true grifter really is. Because when it comes to the shove, they shed that that right wing, oh yeah, I'm, I'm against this, and I'm against, you know, all of these sort of terrible things. No. When the chips are down, that's when you start to see who people really are. You saw it with me, against, well, against me with these people, and now you're seeing the same stuff again. They've seen me with all the, these people. Look, I have all these pictures in my kitchen. This is my fucking kitchen. And then you view a video and you say, I don't know type. Clearly, he doesn't know type people. You don't know me, motherfucker. And Aussie Broadband, we reckon there's more to the Aussie way than just this. Oh, oh man, these ads. Like providing effortless. You know nothing. You are just a pathetic loser. You're the one who made the video. You're the fucking grifter. Grow the fuck up. That being said, I already apologized for my outburst on Twitter. Guess what? He didn't put that in the video, did he? Nah. <laughs> As he stated here, some incredible ones informed me that this render was used by Warner Brothers Latino, or whatever, I think it's cut off perhaps pictured without permission so the render is unofficial apparently so for now we'll have to wait and see how it looks apologies if i'm wrong on this one but we'll have to wait and see again the reason why it was never included is because there is a there is an objective here to destroy the man just like they tried with me right all over a video again right we aren't racist we aren't hateful we just love Mortal Kombat and we don't want to see it get butt fucked by people that don't actually know what Mortal Kombat is. But then you actually have people out there going to the defense 
just so they can get hit pieces of people like this and myself and others out there. Funnily how we're all connected though, huh? Huh. I said I apologise if I got it wrong. We'll have to wait and see an official render or gameplay, which came out like the next day from Boom, you know? And I have no problem with Takeda. It looks great. But you just want to keep tweeting at me that I'm racist, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Grow the fuck up. There's even a guy, I shouted this guy out, and he's like, I can't believe you shouted me out. Oh, remove the video. Mate, I'm not removing shit, and I'll shout out whoever the fuck I want. You have no say over what I say. None. I've been doing YouTube a long time. I've been Mortal Kombat fan since before some of you were fucking born. And you just go after me because I'm white. It's you who are the racists. You see a white guy have an outburst that he doesn't like change, doesn't want characters changed. Mate, I don't want Jax changed. I don't want Jax changed to a white guy. Uh, you, you know what? Just, just for hilarity's sake, I want Jax to be changed to a white guy. <laughs> I mean, just think of the meltdowns. Just think of the fucking meltdowns. Why? Right. Oh, people punching the air, punching their dick. You know, fucking committing a, probably going out there committing a hate crime. Who knows? Right? The very same people calling us racist would lose their fucking minds if that happened. Right? And you know who's been advocating of the content creators out there? to have Jax and Darius on the main roster instead of being on the bitch bench. I don't see any of these other people saying that. I'm not including Total MK here. I'm talking about the people that are so eager to try and put people in boxes. Well, I'm not, I'm not seeing them advocate to get them out of the, the bitch bench and put onto the main roster, right? So we actually have more representation in there because it's not a problem. What you fucking idiots don't understand is that guys like me and Total MK have been playing fighting games our whole lives, right? We've been there since the very beginning. And where do you think fighting games all started from? Japan. And a lot of the rosters in these fighting games weren't filled with white people. They were mostly filled with Asians, if not entirely Japanese people. It's only when we got to things like Street Fighter, perhaps, that we started to get more diverse roster because it was going all around the world. We're pulling in characters from everywhere, which was really awesome. Nobody gave a shit about whether or not D DJ was in there or Fei Long, right? Nobody gave a fuck. It was all about whether the characters played really good. Now, I will add in that the other day, before I got sick, we were having a conversation with one of the dudes on Discord, Breezy. He said, he said something like, oh, he misses it like when the only thing that really mattered was like just talking about the gameplay or the characters. Um, and, uh, what was it? Um, but now, like, all these channels out there, like Nerdrotic and stuff like that, they're only focusing on, like, the, the DEI Sweet Baby, Sweet Baby Inc. changes. Now, I think both sides, I actually agree with that. Like, both sides, like, these channels out there, they're only hyper-focused on, you know, the sort of, that, that sort of, like, pinpointed outrage and change. But those channels aren't fighting game focused channels they're not interested in the story they're not interested in in the character development they're not interested in the gameplay they're not interested in anything regarding mortal Kombat or other fighting games they just it's just like another sort of metric of what these companies have changed or forced change into their game so what we have is um and then on the other side right and this is why on this channel i try and cover everything i try and talk about the gameplay well, i'm not an expert but i have to be Right? Right? I think everyone, at the end of the day, forgets that video games are supposed to be fun. If you pick up the game and go, right, I'm going to be an esports pro, you're a fucking idiot. Who, who does that? It's a video game designed for entertainment. Right? If your first goal was to go, I'm going to make this a job, then you are going to burn out and you're not going to have any fun with it. Right? And we already know at the top, a lot of these people, you know, at least in some of the MK circles, don't enjoy what they're doing because it's just a, it's just a job. 
And we're supposed to listen to their opinion. We're supposed to take them seriously. Very same people peddle lies and stuff like that too. So I guess that's true as well. But regardless of that, is that yes, it used to be about oh how this character played. But you gotta remember, they changed it. They changed the narrative. They made it political. They took gaming and decided to make it political. And made it all about who you have to put your penis in. Or what colours of skin you are, when it never used to matter at all. They did that. Right? And when you pull the curtain back and you start to see what the wizard is really doing, it's very difficult to unsee that. Right? Now, sometimes you can make mistakes. But a lot of the time, once you see what's really going on behind the curtain, you, you now just, you see the signs. It's, it's not hard. It's the same thing, but they won't do that, will they? They only swap characters to African-American or Asian or gay or female. They've changed Sector and Cyrax. They're now female, apparently. I mean, they're not in the game yet, but data mining's happened and they found female quotes. They've changed the dragon to female. No one plays the dragon. I guess no one really gives a shit, but why do it? You know, why do all this shit? And they took out Johnny Cage and changed it to Janet Cage. I don't like any of this DDI shit. By the way, just FYI too, that that was actually like, I would consider that like illegal because he was advertised as Johnny Cage as a cameo character, right? That people bought and pre-ordered for. So people did all this, right? Bought, paid for, you know, thinking that we were gonna get a Johnny Cage cameo and then they just changed it for no reason, not, not even an explanation. They just did it because they already got our money, right? And these same people who are like losing their minds trying to claim that we're Klansmen and racists and all this sort of shit go real fucking quiet when it comes to that sort of stuff. Some of these people don't even play Mortal Kombat, but we're the frauds? Get the fuck out of here. Sorry. You know, the team sees what I say. I sort of keep it on Twitter only. I keep it off Facebook. You know, um, but they see everything I say. You know, I've helped them with things behind the scenes. You know, I've helped them with, um, you know, bad people in the communities. You know, um, oh. There's a few more you can add to that list now. And, you know, that's why I'm around. That's why they know me. That's, I'm not saying they all like me. I can't speak for them, but they know I'm not a God, you want to say I'm a racist because I said white to cater. I never thought my right, body these, would let me down. These, these, what, all these ads, bro. What are you doing? Yep, come on. Yep, yep. Oh my God. There we go. You know, Asians can have white skin. They can. They can. They can also have tan skin. They can also have half African-American skin. They can be half uh, Spanish. I've got no problem <coughs> with that. But if you're going to swap the character, then I've got a problem with it. And that's just where we're at. That's where we're at. So anyway, this is my reply. Mike Hollow, you're a fucking hollow head. Grow the fuck up. Grow some brains. And this is Total MK. Piece the fuck out. I'm not going anywhere. And for those of you who are on my side, I appreciate it. And yeah, look, I come off a little unhinged sometimes on Twitter. I apologize about that. It was actually quite late. You know, in fairness, at least Total MK has a personality. When I sent the tweet, I think I sent the tweet at like night time, and then I woke up and there was all this hatred in the morning. <laughs> so I was probably a little tired and irritable as well, but. I could have, could have worded the tweet better, so that's on me, but yeah, I was replying to an unofficial render the WBU, so that's on them. Peace out. Oh, I forgot to say something. Look, I'm wearing my shirt from, uh, from Korea. My parents got me that. My dragon shirt from Korea. Um, they got me this from China. I'm actually not sure exactly what this is. My parents got it to me as a souvenir, as well as... Little guy here. 
from China. Oh, the, the, all, the, all the weirdos will probably accuse him for taking their fucking ancient relics next. You think if I was a racist, I would have these things in my house? Hey, look, it's a sword from Japan. That was from when I went in 2023. It's a plastic one. And then here's a metal one in 2024. Yeah. It makes me laugh because I've been to all these places. I've been to Japan, like I said, Japan, Bali, America, Rarotonga. I haven't even traveled that much, not as much as other people in their lives have. But um, the people who tweet at you are the people who haven't gone fucking anywhere. They just stay in their homes in the UK or the United States. They haven't gone anywhere. They're the uncultured morons. And they comment on people and try and start shit. Um, you know, this might- oh, I, I know, I know the follow-up to that too. That, that'll be, a, that'll be in the video as well. I guarantee it, right? That'll be, the, like, the, I guarantee it, right? This shit is so easy to predict. My collar doesn't even fucking know me. He sees a couple of tweets and he thinks he knows me. And... So, and this is exactly what happened with me. Right? A guy that was never subscribed to my channel. A guy that had only watched content for six months, only when it was recommended. He was probably watching it with all the other only pros behind the scenes that I didn't even know they were watching, which is fine, right? And made snap judgments, followed the same talking points as those guys, without doing any research whatsoever. Because that's reality. They don't do research on the people that they want to destroy. They don't care. They create these false narratives. I recently had a, I did a video talking about Belina. Uh, she came actually onto. The, you can see the comments on the video. Actually, she came on and said, "You know, because uh, you asked permission to use the picture." I said, oh, "I thought it'd be fine." It was just public on Twitter. She's like, "Oh well, you know, blah blah." blah. I said, "Listen," I said, "Listen, if you want me to change the thumbnail, I'm happy to do that. All right? I'm happy to do that." Now, what's really interesting? Is that good old sloppy seconds out there decided to reply to obviously a post that she had now deleted calling me a potato brain but she had deleted that and i'm assuming she deleted that particular post i'm assuming it was that one after we had our you know engagement right not like that so and that's probably because she realized oh maybe i'm not a dick <clears throat> i mean i'm not a fighting game expert like these people are but that doesn't mean to say that you somehow are some level above everyone else because you press buttons better than somebody else, right? So maybe she thought, oh, okay, well, he's a reasonable dude. He's willing to change the thumbnail. Well, I thought it was a great picture anyway. So, you know, it was like flattering, if you will. But I told her, I said, listen, if, if you want me to change it, I'll change it and you can go read the exchange yourself, right? Now, good old sloppy seconds comes in and goes, oh yeah, don't take the bait. Bates gonna be making videos about this thing for six months. What a fucking idiot. What a fucking absolute marshmallow sounding looking motherfucker, right? What a clown. This dude acts like I fucked his mum. Maybe I did. Did I? I don't know. There's a level of hatred that these guys seem to have, which all seem to share the same skin tone. Don't you think there's a pattern of behavior there? It's not a fact of whether or not I know everything about Mortal Kombat, because I never said I did. The disingenuity of it is the fact that they have gone out of their way now with further proof that they are yet again doing the same thing to Total MK. Of actually going after white people just because we speak up and say, listen, maybe we want characters that have been established in our favourite fighting game to remain a certain way. And if you have to go out of your way to try and destroy someone like that, well, who's the bitch? The reason why he got... By the way, by the way, I don't care how big these people are. I don't care how many followers suck their dick thinking they're fucking awesome. I'd much rather have a small following of people that aren't brain rock TikTok fucking losers than actual people. You know, I'd much rather not have that than, you know, than have people that, like, you know, actually want to have a decent and engaging conversation, right? Because I have people disagree with me all the time. Right? I don't need people that just hate for hate's sake. And when you got people out there who would actively ignore 
and condone actual elder abuse or parental abuse for the sake of trying to own somebody on the internet and excusing that behavior and not calling it out. Well, these are all patterns of behavior here that we have been noticing for a really long time. These people will never admit they're wrong. But that doesn't matter though. Because eventually, the truth always comes out. So I in this video by saying I don't know Thai people because they don't fucking know me. My best friend is married to a Thai person. I don't want to say her name. Getting her identity out of this shit. But yeah. That's why. You're a stupid idiot. One thing, last thing I want to add is, um, this guy thinks that I've done nothing for Mortal Kombat. I'm here to just grift. Be he even mentions I've been here on YouTube 18 years making Mortal Kombat videos. He doesn't know that I've done competitions and paid thousands of dollars to travel the world to bring Mortal Kombat news to the community. I've done giveaways. I've given away, you know, 30 copies, 40 copies of Mortal Kombat. On DS, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, I've done all. So when when Total MK like came to visit like the first time when he was up in like you know how long ago was that? Jeez, man. God, would it, it's definitely over ten years. Obviously, over ten years. Was it before or after MK9 came out? Anyway, right. Um, my son was real small, but he obviously had seen like some Total MK videos talking about Mortal Kombat back in the day. It was a huge fan, right? Total MK coming into the house was like a celebrity for my son, right? And it was the coolest thing. And he even gave my son like a little, um, like, an, like a dragon, like a Mortal Kombat dragon coin. <coughs> it was amazing. It was so cool, right? Anyone thinking that, what, what did I write down again that he was a saying oh he's disingenuous a parasite and a grifter jeez that sound this is just the fucking playbook again it's the playbook again right the absolute playbook of these people right they just don't like us but instead of being a man and actually just not engaging they need to destroy to try and build their temple upon the ashes of it right and it's happening in total. All these things. And what have you done? And the answer is fucking nothing. Zero. I, I mean, to be fair, like he's, he's... And give me a moment. I'm just trying to think of what he's done. I don't know. I can't think of it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, oh, man. I'm almost, almost, almost back to normal. Almost back to normal. Right. I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, uh, so go check out Total MK's video. I'll post the link in the description for that. Um, but as you can tell, the same playbook is now being applied. Right. This is how these people work. It is racially motivated. I had Breezy ask me the other day, who's a black guy? Because that's just like the white guy saying he's got black friends. Well, I do. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> right? He said to me, he goes, he asked me a question. He goes, uh, Fate, do you think they're racist against you? At the time, I'm like, I don't know. I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it. And the answer is yes. <laughs> now don't wait for the response because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. I already told you what's gonna happen, the response video to Total MK. I'll get lumped in there, no doubt, because quite frankly, this you know, I'm just I really am special, right? I mean I helped build that channel. Let's be honest here. I did. Now <clears throat> what will happen is that you know we'll get we'll get proof of of, of uh, 
white friends and stuff like that. That's that's how it works, you know. Like this is just the playbook, right? This is the playbook, right? And they want to talk about bringing people together, but what they're doing is referring to Total MK in the video as a parasite that people like him needed to be weeded out. Paraphrasing here. But you can go check it. This is disgusting rhetoric to act like these people are the fucking arbiters of what should be allowed with Mortal Kombat. Notice how this doesn't happen in the Tekken community or the Street Fighter community. Because those communities don't allow degenerate behavior like that to happen. And they got people out in there who are very outspoken against the game and stuff like that. But what? You don't see you don't see them being teared down like they do in the NRS community. Because NRS stands for not really smart. Right? I'm a midway guy. And I will always be a midway Mortal Kombat fan. And I think at the end of the day, I think that's the thing that we really need to figure out here. Because I don't think we can coexist. I think NRS has done something fun fundamentally to Mortal Kombat. That has broken it beyond repair. Not just for the game, but for the mental capacity of the people that just suck the dick of this franchise and injustice. For the last 10 years. MK9 was the best MK game under that banner, not because it was made by Netherrealm, because it was made by Midway. And obviously there were some quite big changes of staff and whatnot when they transferred over to ownership under Warner Brothers, which is why Injustice feels so radically different as a fighting game compared to MK9. And Injustice carried over to MK10, MK, uh, sorry, Injustice 2, MK11, <clears throat> MK9 does not feel like an NRS game, MK9 feels like a Midway game, and you just need to ask Total Mortal Kombat about that, because he knows, because he is the OG, if there was someone that I could put in charge of the direction of Mortal Kombat, it'd be him, because he gets it, he gets it, He's not just some story buff nerd that only cares about character design. He is, lives and breathes Mortal Kombat. And to even say this sort of stuff is even more outlandish than the stuff that's been said about me. Because these people don't care about doing investigation or research. They only care about destroying and building their temples on very, very rocky foundation. On the ashes of others. Because there's nothing left. They are devoid of anything decent. So they try and tear down other people. Now I've been called hateful. Because I'm very outspoken against MK. <coughs> but interestingly enough. I was only ever being called uh, hateful. When certain people started to show up on the community. Isn't that convenient timing? You know why? Because they're racist. It's as simple as that. There is no other ulterior motive here. And to anyone that says, well, you know, but I'm sure they got white friends and all this sort of stuff. It's like, cool. So there's no difference to me saying that I've got black friends. Anyway, check out his video. Catch you next time.